he's he so goes. Just, uh, This is your first time that you've tasted. Yeah, it's the first time filming it. Um, yeah, filming and oh, tasting. Look, I, so I can't yeah. stop now. And, um, <laughs> it's delicious. She hasn't had a try yet. Better than normal. Mm. It's good, isn't oh, it? This is really good. Look, yes. Even Chloe wants a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting it. So here we are this morning, we're doing some cooking and that is a little piece of asparagus that's been grown in Irene's garden. Fresh, well it was fresh yesterday. And it's still got a pretty good sound. And over here... So Irina is cooking, what are you cooking? So I'm cooking the um, uh, chickpea veggie scramble. So it's kind of a um, um, plant-based uh, version of scrambled eggs with uh, vegetables. Okay. So we have um, organic carrot, organic zucchini, and organic capsicum, and asparagus that um, Deb has just um, demonstrated yes. the frequency. We're listening and, to yeah, it. we're listening to it actually. Yes, and that we've is got, um, chickpea and tapioca flour, uh, rice milk, and rice milk. Yeah. Oh, so hang on, okay. I need a fork. I have not seen this recipe before. <laughs> We're going to taste it soon. Alright, so we'll mix the scramble first. So it's simply um, chickpea and tapioca flour with a little bit of salt mixed with uh, rice milk. I'm using rice milk, but any uh, plant-based milk really, whatever you have. Did you make this recipe up? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, I sort of um, I read a lot of uh, recipes um, about chickpea scramble, um, so I sort of um, knew about replacing chickpea. I mean eggs with a chickpea flour. Okay. Yeah. It's to make a batter. You don't need. Um, You've got chickpea flour because it, 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 it emulsifies like 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 it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm trying to sound like a proper interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew we're oh here God. in our pajamas virtually, but anyway. <laughs> and we're doing the Jamie Oliver. The Jamie Oliver. <laughs> yeah. What you can get out of your garden. And so you're just making it into a like almost like a pancake batter. That's right, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're back on and just chopping everything up small. <laughs> yes, chopping everything um, small. So I'll chop the asparagus and the um, capsicum in uh, small pieces. But then with the zucchini and carrot, I actually grate okay. it, so it's um, yeah. yeah, it's quite fine. And we can still hear this little piece of asparagus. This is just amazing because, well, that's the nature of um, organic, you know, high frequency food, which, um, yeah, this is. Why it's important to eat the highest frequency foods that we can because why Irina? Um, because obviously you are what you eat <laughs> <laughs> but it's about the frequencies yes, as well yes so um, and whatever and you fuel your body with um, it obviously affects your body whatever you put into your body affects yeah. it but also affects your um, energy levels um, and then your energy levels will affect your mood um, yeah. would, um, will affect your emotional state as well yeah. 
so obviously you want to fuel yourself and um, eat the higher frequency food yeah because um, that's what you want to be high frequency exactly <laughs> and and for the people that are concerned about the coronavirus this is all immune boosting foods that's whether right. you're concerned about coronavirus or just for everyday living anyway yes yeah yeah, yeah like we should be looking after um, our immune system um, every day yeah. not just because of the coronavirus because um, I mean no one likes to be sick yeah, yeah. and um, oh, I should mention here that we're doing social distancing <laughs> and following up on a conversation that we had earlier we were talking about um, yeah, irrespective of coronavirus just just keeping our vibration in a healthy state of being is um, helps us to awaken aspects in ourselves or maybe lay dormant which then helps us in protecting we want to try that one yeah do you want to hook up to the capsicum yes. okay the, the big capsicum yeah, I reckon. Okay. Those that are watching this, well, they will watch it soon because it's not live. They're getting a cooking demonstration, a little conversation about frequencies and a music of the plants. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I'm just going to pop this on pause while I connect it. Okay, so I've now hooked up the... Um, <laughs> The capsicum, which is, oh, I might be feeling a bit, wow, listen to the difference. And look at that beautiful sacred geometry in there of the, um, oh, wow, it's a beautiful little flower, but what a delicate sound. Looks like a banana, but it's not, it's a, or a capsicum. That's amazing. That is a very high Oh my gosh, that that's just way up there in the in the cosmos. That one. That Beautiful, is really isn't high, it? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, capsicum, oh, cap look at that beautiful flower in there. Right now I've hooked it up to <laughs> just the little end of this um, zucchini. Beautiful artwork in there. And you may be thinking how can um, a piece of cut vegetable have a frequency? Well, this is organic, it's been freshly picked, well, a few days ago, yeah. but I guess that it's a, a testament to uh, the level of frequencies that we can find in um, organic foods. And yet it, it's probably experienced a bit of trauma by being cut if we want to associate feelings with, um, with vegetables. Of course, they're not sentient in the way we are. However, everything has a frequency. And you can hear it's a lot deeper than the capsicum. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter why. Um, maybe it's oh, a little okay. bit deeper because it's like it's more solid and it's it's like much bigger and heavier. Um, yeah. Than the capsicum. So. And they it lay it, it's more um when it's growing it's more grounded isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Whereas yeah. the capsicum is more on a vine. Yeah. Exactly. And whereas the asparagus was more middle of the range in its frequency. Uh, oh, 
over here. We are just doing the great. Oh, yum! I'm so hungry. <laughs> and a um, bit of a um, fresh parsley from my garden oh, as well. Yeah. So, Have you got some? Yeah, I've got some. So I'll go and pick some. Um, and okay. do you, can you hook up a little parsley? Uh, Lee? Possibly. All possibly. right. Shall we try that? Yes. Yeah. We'll just... Okay. Be back in a second. Yeah. So there's, um, I've got a little bit of um, organic uh, fresh parsley Yum. in my um, little uh, herb Love. pot. Oh, look at this so, um, beautiful mint. mint, dill, and um, this chives. Did you call me a dill? <laughs> <laughs> this is pest free, pesticide free. So there's a really um, nice batch of chives um, oh, behind here wow. as well. This is um, so. What would you I mean, like? Um, yeah, parsley. Dead parsley. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this here. This is just spraying out all over the place. And over yonder, I'm just going to move around. You may as well look at the garden. Let's go have a look at. Um... Okay, I'm not going to win an award for a, f a movie, but let's have a look at these. Oh, beautiful flowers and hello. And this very robust rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Here is the parsley freshly picked. How strong is that vibration yeah. frequency? That little bit of parsley. Don't underestimate the frequencies in the food that you eat, particularly when we're talking organic. Versus GMO. Yes, we haven't got a GMO to test, but anyway. Thank you, Parsley, for letting us pick you. preparation time goes into this but it's very therapeutic isn't it yes for me personally cooking is um, a kind of a creative expression yeah uh, and it awakens pretty much all of our senses yeah. with the, the colors and the textures and smell yeah. All we need is some red and blue in there, and we've virtually got the and rainbow. Purple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and that parsley is still singing away over there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to start the cook up. All right, so I'm cooking um, capsicum and carrots first because they take the longest. We'll just leave them to um, sizzle. I've used a little bit of oil, olive oil. Yum. So just leave them to sizzle for I don't know, a couple of minutes, two to three minutes, um, and then we'll add um, zucchini and um, asparagus. Yeah. Because you want asparagus to be a little bit crunchy, so you don't want to overcook it. And yeah, I suppose you could put garlic or onion in. Yes, yeah, so you can really put really yeah, yeah anything. Yeah, yeah. And um, so today is today's preparation is um, vegan, gluten free, lactose free, nut free, nut -free, nut -free guilt free, guilt free. High vibrational. Yes, and very delicious. And very delicious. And decided to switch this up a bit now and play the peace lily for you. Because we all like a bit of peace in our life. How amazing is this beautiful, beautiful sounding peace lily. So this is coming along really nicely. Yes. And, and just um, 
We're gonna add um, water. And do you add seasonings as well? Sorry? Do you add seasoning? Oh, you already added salt, didn't you? I had salt. Oh. Yeah, you can use the seasoning. Now tell us about the flowers that you've used, which is, well I think we all know what chickpeas is, and um, the tapioca. tapioca flour. Yeah. So tapioca flour is um, made of or extracted from South um, American plant cassava. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's a root plant and it looks similar to potato, sweet potato, but it's like with yeah. a you know, brown skin and white inside. So there for it's very starchy and that's yes. what makes it a good um, exactly. emulsifier. Yep. I wonder if like you can eat the cassava plant, like the vegetable. Um, a binder, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, I'm assuming you can. Yes. Um, okay, so we'll now add um, parsley right at the end. Yep, nice. The fresh yeah. And now we're adding mm -hmm. our um, chickpea and tapioca mixture. Yeah. So you really just want to let it um, settle in like yeah. a pancake or frittata. Or yeah. And then we'll start um, scrambling. Yes, yeah, scrambling kind of. Um, so, do you wait for anything like bubbles or like, you know? Uh, yeah, like bubbles you can usually tell oh, by yeah. the edge. So, yeah. sometimes I'll just kind of push the edge in. It's yeah. probably too early to do that right now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's how you uh, monitor yeah. Yeah. Okay. when it's ready. Then you can even kind of. Um, cut it into four yeah. uh, pieces and then um, turn the each piece mm -hmm. over and create a bit of a scramble that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Depends how creative you feel at the time. That's right. So what creative space are you in today? <laughs> High vibrational, <laughs> just, delicious food, just <laughs> go good company. <laughs> All those things um, allow the creative juices to flow yeah. from my stove into our bellies. Yum, <laughs> yum. <laughs> well, from the garden. From the garden, that's exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Wow, look at okay, that. So it's, it's getting there. It's really coming together. So we're now going to start um, actually creating the scramble and because it's a scramble you don't have to worry about keeping the form but you do want to flip each piece so it's cooked both sides and it's cooked through. It's looking delish. It's melon delish. My tummy is grumbling. <laughs> well, it is like, I have no idea the time. But it's going to be a good brunch. Or you could serve this with a really nice homemade organic relish. Or yes. Yeah. Uh, not nice. Um, um, Green salad on the side. Yeah. Okay, so this is done. About ready. All right. We'll give it another minute. We'll come back for the plate up. Ready for plating up. Let's have a look. Oh, peas would be nice in that. I just saw peas. It could be any veg. I think Irina said anyway. It could be any vegetable. And if all you've got at your disposal is something in the freezer, let's not play down 
snap fro good snap frozen freezer vegetables. Yes, Sometimes and that's you can get crop. the organic uh, frozen veggies these days easily. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you've got veggies in the freezer and you've got the flour and the seasonings in the pantry, you've got um, you've got accessibility to yummy foods. Yes. Oh, let's do the taste Obviously, test. Obviously, uh, fresh, uh, fresh fruit and veg would have the highest frequency. Yeah. Um, but I mean, as Deb said, um, if frozen is all you have just go with it and then next time you can probably organize yourself a little bit better and get fresh yes oh do they want to see us taste test maybe they want to see us put a gobful in our mouth yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... so deb you probably want to go first since oh um... okay oh which one oh, this one. can you see me <laughs> yes i can see you now <laughs> Okay, here's, here so goes. Mm. This is your first time that you've tasted. <laughs> it is the first time filming it. Yeah, filming and oh, tasting. Look, I, so I can't yeah. stop now. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. She hasn't had a try yet. Better than normal? Mm. It's good, isn't oh, it? This is really good. Look, yes. even Chloe wants it. Mouthful. <laughs> You're not getting it. Okay. How do we get us both? Oh, look, we're goodbye. Bye. From Marina. I hope you enjoy. And am I in there? Yes, you're in there. <laughs> Bye, Bye from, from Deb. Bye.